welcome to warn, today we discuss. BULAVASLBM, Russia's potent strategic deterrent. Development history The Russian RSM, 56, or Bulava SLBM, is an intercontinental range, submarine launched, solid propellant ballistic missile. The RSM, 56, NATO classification, SS, NX, 30, known as the Bulava missile system should constitute the core of Russia's future naval deterrent forces, and it is said to be impervious to all existing missile defense systems. In February 2004 President Putin claimed that the Bulava MIRV warheads could breach any available or potential anti-ballistic missile system. This presumably meant that they can maneuver after separation from the warhead bus, either in space or during re-entry or both. However, the Bulava had a troublesome testing history. Since 2004, the missile has been tested 24 times with varying degrees of success. The last four tests, conducted in the period of September 2014 to November 2015, were all successful. The Bulava submarine launched ballistic missile, a variant of the land-based Topol MSS-27, is one of the most expensive Russian weapons programs and intended to be the cornerstone of the sea-based component of Russia's nuclear triad. The Bulava is specifically designed to evade Western ballistic missile defense shields. It can engage in rapid evasive post-launch maneuvers, deploy decoys, and launch other countermeasures to avoid interception. Each missile carries 10 hypersonic, independently maneuverable warheads, yielding 100 to 150 kilotons apiece. The Bulava's range is estimated at around 10,500 kilometers. The RSM-56 Bulava represents a modified version of the single warhead Topol MICBM, the beginning of the design work on this missile can be traced as far back as 1986. Yet, the decision to adopt the system had not been made until 1998. The Bulava's developer has been the Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology. Bulava's is a story of two design firms and three missiles. One designer, the Moscow Institute for Thermal Engineering, MIT, is the Bulava's developer and the lead designer for the successful silo and mobile-based Topol M Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM. The other design firm, the Makayev State Rocket Center, GRTs, referred to here as Makayev, developed all earlier generations of SLBMs. The missile is manufactured by the Fotkinsk Plant State Production Association. The MIT was given the contract in spite of its lack of experience in the area of submarine-launched ballistic missiles, before the Bulava project, mid work solely on ground-based missiles. The argument was that the RS-12 M1-2 Topol MS conversion into an SLBM was relatively easy which should have reduced the missile's production costs. Hiccups it turned out that the technical differences between a ground-based missile and a missile launched from a submarine were quite important. This was later confirmed by acknowledging that the Bulava's design has 70% in common with that of the Topol M. The argument of a cheap new missile thus proved invalid. Russia's quest to cut expenses supposedly led to other mistakes as well. During the testing phase of the RSM-56 Bulava, the usual preliminary trials, the so-called pop-up tests, fell out. Thus, several phases of testing were skipped. Instead of economizing the process, this decision resulted, most probably, in the prolonged testing period of the missile system. The first flight test of the RSM-56 Bulava was conducted in September 2005. Its sea trials were officially completed on December 23, 2011. During those six years, 22 Bulava launches have been carried out among which 10 launches were successful, 11 unsuccessful and one have been considered to be a partial success. The reason for the failures was reported to be the lack of control over the execution of particular operations, which used to be conducted by military acceptance offices. Initially, reports indicated some errors in the missile's design yet these accusations were eventually rebutted by the Military Industrial Commission. Specifications and Advantages The RSM 56 Bulava is an intercontinental submarine-launched ballistic missile. 
The newest Russian submarines, the Project 955-BORE and Project 955A-BORE-A-class submarines, that Russia began to build in mid-1990s were designed to carry launchers for the RSM-56 missile. It is reported to be fully protected against a physical attack and to be shielded against an electromagnetic pulse EMP, attack so that it withstands a nuclear explosion at a distance of 500 m. The Bulava's advanced technology allows it to carry up to 10 hypersonic, individually guided, maneuverable warheads with a yield of 150 carat each. The latest report of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, a respected publication on nuclear arsenals worldwide, corroborates this data. Perhaps the most advertised characteristic of the RSM-56 Bulava is the speed of its warheads, which are rumored to be hypersonic. The warheads are said to be individually maneuverable and capable of altering the height and course of their trajectory. They are also claimed to have a low-altitude flight profile. The missile is expected to carry a number of penetration aids and decoys. Each warhead's circular error probability is estimated to be an incredible 250 to 300 m, which makes them twice as accurate as the RSM-54 Sinva. Recent Bulava Project Chronology 2013 September 6, a Bulava missile failed after the launch from a submarine. Before the launch, Rossi's Kaya Gazeta, the official newspaper of the Russian Duma, Parliament, reported that the launch aimed to test an upgraded version of the Bulava missile. However according to the Commerçant newspaper, since the purpose of the launch was to test the overall system rather than the missile itself, it involved a serially produced vehicle lacking telemetry hardware that would be present on test versions of Bulava, thus complicating the investigation of the failure. The flight was still tracked by Deryal early warning radar in Pechora in the Russian Republic of Komi, which had a view of Barents and White Sea. The semi-official Interfax news agency reported that a failure of the thrust vector control on board the missile doomed its launch. 2014 September 10, after a year-long break, Russia conducted a test launch of its newest submarine-based ballistic missile. A Bulava, MACE, missile blasted off from the Vladimir Monomak nuclear submarine submerged in the White Sea. After a vertical liftoff, the Bulava headed toward the Kara impact range on the Kamchatka Peninsula in the Russian Far East. According to a representative of the Russian Ministry of Defense quoted by the official Russian media, the launch was conducted within the program of official state testing of weaponry and life support systems on board the Vladimir Monomak submarine. All flight parameters of the Bulava missile were normal and its warhead successfully reached the impact site in Kamchatka, the Ministry of Defense said. Following the test flight, the official RIA Novosti news agency also quoted Admiral Viktor Cherkov, the commander of the Russian Navy, as saying that two Russian submarines from the Bori project had been scheduled to fire a pair of Bulava missiles in October and November of this year. 2014 October 29, the Project 955 Yuri Dolgoruki nuclear submarine stationed in submerged position in the Barents Sea fired a Bulava missile on a test flight. The rocket's warheads targeted the Kara impact range at the Kamchatka Peninsula. For the first time the rocket was fired from a submarine carrying all 16 Bulava missiles in its silos. 2014 November 28, the Alexander Nevsky submarine stationed in the Barents Sea fired a Bulava ballistic missile toward the Kara impact range on the Kamchatka Peninsula, the official Russian media reported quoting the nation's Ministry of Defense spokesman. 2015 November 14, the K-551 Vladimir Monomak submarine submerged in the White Sea fired two Bulava missiles. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, both missiles headed to the Kara impact range on the Kamchatka Peninsula and reached their destination. However later reports in semi-official Russian media said that due to technical problems at launch, one of the missiles had missed its targets. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.